Freddy wants that sound It's a musical car It's the hit sensation across the nation With an up-and-coming star You see me riding every day I'm never too far It's just a musical car Hey guys, welcome to Just Musical Car. This week I have Roxanne Potfan from Montreal and you brought along Christine to uh, do some electric in the back, which doesn't happen very often. Yeah, she so, got a little pocket amp. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a sunglassy kind of day in Moncton. Yep. And uh, we're gonna rock them, so. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna smooth, smooth them. Smooth them. Smooth rock them. Yeah, smooth rock, smooth them. rock them. That's actually a place in Ontario, I think, smooth rock. <laughs> so, uh, can you tell me how the tour has been going so far? Oh, it's been good. We've yeah. been we've been out just for like a week now. Actually, exactly a week. Mm -hmm. We played uh, all over uh, Fredericton, PEI. Um, we were in Halifax yesterday, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, got a few more to go. Playing yeah. till Sunday. Not missing home yet. No. No, not like, gone that long. I like being out here. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell me a bit about your latest album? I know. Uh, it's, it came out a few months ago as the as, the, as of today, so um, yeah, it must be fun going on tour when you have a new repertoire of songs yes. you can add to your list. Yeah, yeah, it's been really fun because my last one was like five years before that, yeah. so I was getting pretty tired of the old songs. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. So I barely play any of the old songs. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the new songs. Yeah, no, it's been fun. Okay. So um, what song are you going to play for me today? Well, this is the latest single, I guess, that's getting sort of airplay on CBC, so mm -hmm. I figured I'd play that. Yeah. Um, it's called The March. Okay. A little bit of background on it? A little bit of background. I guess it's the first song that I wrote for the album uh, in like, like 2014 when I didn't even know I was making an album. Okay. But I liked it and it, people liked it, so I thought I'd throw it on there. The album kind of spawned from the song. It didn't. No, actually. No? Um, in fact, I was debating whether to put it on there at all because um, it's kind of different from yeah. a lot of the other stuff. But I thought, what the hell? Yeah, it still had a special place yeah. in your heart kind of thing. Yeah, it still felt like it was relevant and I could put it out, you know, okay. as well, now, part of that. So. Now we'll hear the car version of it. Yeah, all let's right. do the car version. Let's do it. Searching for 
did it. We did it. Aren't you happy venues don't have moving floors? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit distracting. Yeah, but we did it. I messed up a couple of places, but that's okay. Nah. Yeah, it's all part of the thing. So, um, you, you, you have a background in, in engineering and a bit of the behind the scenes stuff. That yeah. Whenever you were uh, a little bit. doing this new album, does that kind of play in your mind a bit? Because you kind of see things a little differently and you kind of know a bit of the process behind the production of it? Oh yeah, it was huge actually having been able to study that for a couple of years um, mm -hmm. because I was able to be so much more hands on mm -hmm. with like I recorded a lot of it myself, like all yeah. my parts I recorded myself and uh, a couple other things. Um, and then I was able to edit also mm -hmm. and, and make all those decisions myself, you know, um, and redo stuff if I wasn't yeah. happy with it as much as I wanted. That must take a bit of the pressure off because then you're not always fighting the clock and like, oh my god, like, I'm wasting time here, like when you can actually go back and kind of be really picky and... Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, you can drive yourself nuts with it too, but mm. um, at least, yeah, it was nice to have that uh, that opportunity to to work on the parts mm -hmm. until I was happy, you know. Yeah. So um, so yeah, it was it was great. It was a really good, you know. I'm gonna keep doing that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do, do you think you're gonna wait as long for your next album? Oh hell no. No. No no no. I'm already thinking of new songs and new things and a new EP I want to do. And okay. No, no, I, I really feel like, you know, that was probably a necessary break, but I, now I kind of want to just mm -hmm. go, go, you know, go for it and just yeah. go all in, you know, just keep right. doing it. I'm, I just feel like... You're it, in your zone now. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in my zone, yeah, and, it's, and being able to work on the demos myself and do the some of the recording stuff, it's a great uh, tool also for songwriting, you know. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really using it that much before, but now I really use it to write, and and you know this is just what I love, so I want to do more of it, you know. Yeah. yeah, and I see you're embracing the whole social media aspect of things too, like oh, being really active on you that. You kind of have to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not always easy to to you know feel, you know to you know sometimes to just like uh. I don't know what to like this yeah. just feels like advertisement or whatever mm -hmm. like you don't feel necessarily great about being a you know your own promoter you know but, but in a way it keeps you closer to your fans because yeah. whenever I follow bands I almost feel like I'm on tour with them because you can see them right. at their venues and what they're up to and it's yeah, kind of fun I think that's fun yeah yeah that's fun for sure um and it's good to like I like to see that from other bands too. So yeah, mm -hmm. try to try to keep up on that. Yeah, it's kind of funny because a lot of times you'll see bands and you uh, picture them in the back room like drinking beer and partying, and half the time it's just like everyone's <laughs> updating their Instagram yeah. and Twitter. I deleted my personal Facebook account, so that's yeah. kind of clearing up some space there. Yeah, I can imagine. Which is really nice. Yeah, that's why you're getting your albums done quicker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see when I get home how much I can get done. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, yeah. I want to get like I don't have a lot going on in the summer, so yeah. Uh, just want to write. Yeah, that's just the way gonna, to do it. That's gonna be the focus. Do you need to like pick um, a time like this is my writing time, or can it just be any moment? Like you get back to the venue, like boom, song comes to you. Or do you like to put a time aside? I kind of feel I I need um I need to be sort of in that space. For, yeah. Like, I don't write well on the road. I, some people do. Some people get mm -hmm. super inspired on the road, but I feel like it's so hectic and you're, you're... I mean, just because I'm also sort of, you know, tour managing my own stuff and, like, True, I have yeah. to do all the things, so I don't have, like, the mental space to also <laughs> Gotta write. turn the creativity down just yeah, a bit I just for that. Don't, I don't have that space or, or, or the time even, like, mm -hmm. just driving places, you know. Do you have, like, a writing room or, like, a place where you, that most of your songs get written? Um, special well I, spot I just moved right before I came on tour actually I'm not even moved yet my boxes are in a corner <laughs> oh my god and I need to move as soon as I get home but um, that'll be my new space mm -hmm. <laughs> so I, hopefully it's conducive but usually if I find myself in a I don't know I like to make my little you know either a room in the in the place or or my entire place you know if I live in a small studio yeah. then it's just the entire space is my own sort of writing spot and it's okay. yeah I, 
I, I like that. I like having my little space to, to go mm -hmm. in, go in that zone. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost mind trickery because then when you're in there, it's like your your brain's like, okay, we're in songwriting mode now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and, and it really helps to sort of have because this album I wrote basically all through last year from January to I was going on tour in May so I guess January to March I wrote really intensely and then June to September I wrote really intensely mm -hmm. and every day that was what that was all that my day was focused around it was yeah. like writing and I kind of feel like that's really helpful to um, just not have a thousand distractions or not have a thousand projects going around in your head mm -hmm. like it was that was my project you know that's like, good so i don't know you need sort of the space and the time to really let yourself go into into yeah. that space you know well it's For like me, a, I mean, yeah like a, a, any kind of art like people just have different ways of doing things whatever works for you yeah so. exactly and that's the thing right you just have to figure out after you've been doing it for a while, you do start to figure out what works for you and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. So that's just, uh, everybody has a different way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Well, this is how we do it in Jeff's musical car. I like it. And uh, I'm going to bring you back to the venue. So thanks for coming along and thanks Love for it. Christine. We'll try to get you um, more involved in the conversation next time. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, Christine. She chats with the music. That's right. That's how she speaks. I've been, spe I've, I've been teaching Christine a bunch of... Uh, Quebecois swear words. I can't say that. We're, oh, having, we're having a really we'll good time. We'll have to, uh, you guys will have to go on their social media to see that. <laughs> I think you posted a few things, right? Yeah, we have to post more, Christine. Okay. Yeah. All right. New video on the way. Stay tuned. So that's it for this episode of Jeff's Musical Car, Roxanne Pod Fan. Be sure you check it out, and we'll see you next time.